Proverbs chapter 1 through the Bible. Part 3. The Challenge. A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. Proverbs 1 verse 5. This has been the characteristic of all great men. They never reached the place where they felt that they had learned everything. I listened to a young man on television the other night who had skyrocketed to fame on rock music. The thing that characterized him was his arrogance. He knew it all. I don't think anyone could tell that young man anything. Proverbs says that a wise man will hear and will increase learning. A man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. That is actually the challenge of this whole book. Solomon says that if you are smart, you will listen to what is being said in this book. The Spirit of God has a lot of choice things to say in the book of Proverbs. They are great truths expressed in short sentences. To understand a proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. Proverbs 1 verse 6. Another proverb carries this same thought. It is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings is to search out a matter. Proverbs 25 verse 2. I love that. God has given the gospel message clearly to be declared from the housetops. But there is a great deal of truth in the word of God that is like diamonds. God has not scattered diamonds around on the ground. Jewels and that which is valuable have been hidden away for man to look for and to find. The gold and the diamonds and other precious things must be mined. Oil must be drilled. That is the way that God does it. It is the glory of God to conceal a thing. The Word of God deserves all the study that you can possibly bring to it. The Lord Jesus said, Search the Scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life. He didn't say, You are not to search the Scripture. He said, Search the Scriptures. You just think that you have found eternal life because you haven't really searched them. You have been reading the Bible, but you haven't found the real message that is there. The real treasure there is Christ. Search the Scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. John 5 verse 39 My friend, if you haven't found Christ in the Bible, you simply have not been mining for diamonds. You haven't been digging deep enough. To understand a proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. In other words, God has put these great truths here in his book. The tragedy of the hour is the ignorance of the word of God in both pulpit and pew. There needs to be a serious, concentrated study of the Word of God. Somehow, there is an idea today that one can read over a passage once, and then you have it all. I trust you will see that you cannot get the nuggets out of the Word of God without study. When I am in Florida, I always enjoy going to the home and laboratory of Thomas A. Edison at Fort Myers. There is a museum there now. The thing that has always amazed me is his search for synthetic rubber. Firestone and Henry Ford had their homes right next to Thomas A. Edison, and you can understand why they were interested in the project and were working with him. There were several hundred test tubes in his lab. Edison was taking everything that was imaginable and testing it to see if he could get synthetic rubber from it. Do you know he found some of it in dandelions, of all things? That would be the last place I would look for synthetic rubber. But that was the test he was making. As I stood in that laboratory and looked at those hundreds of test tubes and thought of the hours that he and his helpers had spent there testing this and that and the other thing, in order to try to find it, I thought my, how little attention is given to the Word of God where one could do some real testing and some real study. The challenge of the book of Proverbs to us today is dig in. It is the challenge to do serious study. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth.
2 Timothy 2 verse 15.